In the College of Science at RIT, we offer a wide range of graduate programs from master's degrees all the way to PhDs. In mathematics, statistics, chemistry, biology, environmental science, physics, imaging science, and color science. The RIT College of Science graduate programs has state-of-the-art facilities, for example, remote sensing labs, imaging systems labs, chemical analysis labs, and genomics facilities. The skill sets that you'll learn in the classroom will give you the analytical background, but then in our labs, you will get hands-on training in order to do science. You will work with the people who are the best in their fields, and they will help you learn how to ask questions like a scientist, but also they'll teach you how to answer those questions. The graduate programs uh, have unique things to offer that don't necessarily exist at other schools. Um, and that's one of the exciting things about RIT uh, is the programs aren't as traditional. The programs are all very applied programs, and all of them are focused on learning the fundamentals, but also being able to apply them to real world problems. I think faculty here take training and mentoring very, very seriously, and it's, it's, it's part of our core. Graduate students come from very, very diverse environments, very, very diverse places, very, very diverse disciplines, or could be diverse in respect to their undergraduate training. So we want to make sure that each student gets a very unique, authentic experience that is personalized for them. I picked RIT for my chemistry master's because I truly liked the setup of the program itself. Instead of kind of boxing you into certain classes or certain categories, you can truly pick and choose. I get to specialize within my field. I have so many tools added to my toolkit, so many skills added to my skill set. This is truly a place where you can pursue your passions. I am a master's student here at RIT in the environmental science program. It's a really nice community because even though we're kind of a smaller program, uh, we're very tight-knit. There's a lot of like-minded graduate students who are great resources for you as you pursue your degree, pursue your research, your projects. The research ecosystem here in the College of Science is very collaborative. Faculty and students work with each other across different departments. We have colleagues in math, colleagues in computer science, colleagues in imaging science, colleagues in physics, all working together towards some of the same scientific questions. Interdisciplinary opportunities are, are really valuable for getting a feel for how things are going to be out there in the real world, the working world, or just further academia, uh, because a lot of problems in the world aren't necessarily constrained to just one topic, one really small, narrow thing. You have to you know, constantly be communicating and talking with people who are way more experienced than you at completely different things. You know, I've had students in my groups who are working in environmental science, in biology and chemistry, who've actually gone out into the field doing mathematical modeling, but, but actually going in and getting dirty, wading into the water, working on, on experiments, because they're gonna be using that data later on, and it's important for them to really see where it comes from and how messy it can be. I think one of the things that students learn in, in working on problems is how to communicate to the people that they're working with in other fields. And, and I think that, that sort of interdisciplinary communication is extremely valuable to students as they move out into the real world and, and have to engage. I'm a PhD student in the Astrophysical Sciences and Technology Department. One of the biggest parts of being an astrophysicist is the ability to write about your science and specifically writing proposals to get time on telescopes and to fund your research. And while I've been here at RIT, I have been able to practice that skill multiple times and even won a couple of my own fellowships and proposals along the way. I'm a second year PhD student in imaging science. In this program, I'm working on vision rehabilitation in virtual reality. It's very interdisciplinary, so it involves physics, math, computer science, and I was really interested in developing skills from all of those fields because I think that it will make me marketable when I'm looking for jobs. There are so many opportunities for internships coming out of here at Lenovo, Apple, Magic Leap, Qualcomm. And I'm really excited about my own potential to be able to participate in some of those. Being in this lab and working with virtual reality to benefit people, that's really what I've worked so hard to do. And when I leave here, I will be able to apply these same skills to something just as meaningful. I think a student 
should come to RIT if they are passionate about science and passionate about jumping in, getting their hands dirty, and engaging themselves in the community. They will have opportunities to perform cutting-edge research with top-notch faculty. They will also have the opportunity to develop their skills in a welcoming, supportive environment. Many of the relationships they develop during their graduate career at RIT are relationships that will last the rest of their lives, either as professional colleagues, friends, or both. This is the place where professional scientists come to learn science, enjoy science, do science, and get to know other scientists in that process.